Members of the Okanagan Indian Band lined the banks of the Lower Vernon Creek for the second annual Fry release in that location. Students from the band's cultural immersion school and neighboring Okanagan Landing Elementary joined elders and officials in ceremonial prayer and song during the release of over 5,000 sockeye salmon. Whatever your heart says. Well, when we release them right now, they're at about two grams in size. Um, and they're about six months old. So what they're going to be doing now, it's springtime, May, they're going to spend a whole entire year in the freshwater system. So they're going to work their way into the Okanagan Lake. They're going to grow bigger and stronger into about smolt size. They're going to be about that big. And then what they're going to do is work their way down to the ocean after one year of being in freshwater. I know that they're going to travel a long ways across the ocean and I hopefully they don't get eaten by sharks. I know that they um, swim through this thing and then they go into the ocean and then they come back here in four years. Micah Wilson is a grade 7 student at the OKIB Cultural Immersion School. She's spent the last three years learning the silks language and knows the significance of the salmon. It's important because they're bringing salmon back into these water, waters after like a hundred years. They bring us food and they're important for the ecosystem. Salmon, not only do they give back to the community members, but it gives back to the environment. So all the nutrients the salmon put back into the system, whether that's uh, directly into the water or land-based, uh, they, they're highly, highly significant. In Vernon, Tracy Prediger, Castanet.